Hey everyone, just a quick video tonight um, to show you how to, or well, what to do before uh, zipping up your files and how to zip up the files, which files to zip up. I've had a few people in the group recently um, using backup tools, um, uh, various wizards, ours does the same, you can back it up using ours, Aries wizard kind of thing, nothing wrong with all these tools, um, but people aren't doing the required maintenance or Getting, getting things ready for your build to be transferred to other devices. So just quickly run through what, what needs to be covered. So I've thrown together a quick Silvo build. Nothing fancy, just a couple of add-ons, uh, a couple of widgets, and some backgrounds. Um, okay, so the first thing you'll need to do, obviously, if you want to transfer your build, you want to be able to share it between family members, publicly, whatever, uh, all these images you need. You'll have probably popped them in a folder in your Kodi setup. Um, I tend to use um, my add-ons folder and skin, and then I use the backgrounds folder. And I create a folder for each section um, because I use multiple images a lot of the time. Um, so in Kodi, um, a lot of you probably already know this. You can add a source for uh, your special home which basically edits your XMLs for you. You don't have to you don't well but you don't have to edit an XML it puts the paths in, in the right format already. So you can see the source I've added is just special colon forward slash forward slash home. Uh, and I added all my backgrounds using that method. Uh, videos on how to do this are in our pin post. So if you don't know how to do it just have a quick look there. So we'll just double check everything is special. So you see my movies, it's using fan art so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, background on this one, as you can see, special home, same with TV, same with the wizard, same with system. Okay, so that side of things is fine um, for this particular build in this tutorial. So what we'll do is we'll close Kodi and we'll go back to our Kodi folders um, which Mine are um, portable installs, so they're in a different place, but yours are in your app data folder. So C users, your user, uh, app data, roaming, Kodi. Um, so basically, this, this is a manual way of, of, of doing the maintenance and zipping your files. So the first thing to go for is in add ons and packages. Every time you download a build or an add on um, or an add on updates, it uh, creates a, a zip file in here or downloads a zip file to here but it doesn't clear it out automatically um, well it can, Kodi can if it's set up to do that or you can have tools to do it but for, for your initial build you, you're going to have to get rid of these files so if we just delete all of these uh, so the folder's empty go back to add-ons, don't need to do anything else in add-ons go to portable data uh, user data and your thumbnails folder. Basically, this thumbnails folder will get recreated uh, on startup of Kodi. So, uh, if we delete this, yes. And then the last thing we'll do is in databases. Now, this particular um, video is is based on uh, Jarvis. So, um, we're gonna just well, I do. A lot of other people do. Um, some people may say it's not necessary, um, but we delete all these files. Okay, so that's your basic maintenance done. You don't really need to worry about anything else. We haven't done anything else that needs to, to be cleared. So um, we then need to zip our files. Now, some people use media for files. I don't, so I don't need to include it. Uh, so what I will then do is I'll highlight add-ons and I'll highlight user data. Um, if you have media, highlight that as well. Uh, Right-click on that and just send it to a compressive file. That will then zip up your files. Doesn't take very long, it obviously depends on the size of the build. Um, this isn't particularly large, it's got a few files in it, a few add ons, as I said, so, um, and you just call it whatever. Um, that file is then ready to upload to your host. Um, your your images are all special, so they're transferable, um, and all of the files that you don't need have been kind of taken away. Well, not all of, most of the files you don't need have been taken away. You can go 
really far on on the cleanup. You can delete unused images. You can shrink files. You can remove all your add-ons if you want to. There's there's all kinds of crazy methods to get builds as small as possible. Okay, just before I sign off on the video, um, a quick uh, tag on the end. Um, if you're not comfortable with the manual method, you don't like editing files, you, you know, you, you, you don't know how to make your path special in the files, you haven't used the, the add source method and you need to do it afterwards, um, you don't want to go through and manually delete files, um, and use our next gen wizard. Uh, it has all those features built in, so you know you you can also do it that way. I'll just quickly run through it with you. Um, so I've added the wizard onto a menu, but we'll go into it this way. Uh, my add-ons and then program add-ons. Basically, I'm going this way because we will use a method. Uh, or sorry, a menu item that, that generally may not be enabled or you've disabled it. So if you're going to configure the wizard and go tools and keep settings, uh, enable developer menu and then OK. Then open the wizard and you'll see all the usual menus and a developer menu at the bottom. Now, as I said, you can use this to convert the paths to special for your images if you haven't used either of the other two methods or don't want to use either of the other two methods enter and it will convert all the, the paths in all the XML files. Um, two features that we didn't do manually, um, you can do them manually, you have to go through all the repos to check if they work and remove them, um, the wizard will do it for you. I've only got a couple of repos in here so I know they're not dead and the same with broken sources, nothing. So if we go back out and then into the maintenance menu, now before we deleted all the packages, deleted the thumbnails and uh, all the databases, the same features are here. So if we go to clear packages, however many it's found, do you want to delete them? Yes. Okay. And the same with clear thumbnails, it will delete the textures 13 database, it won't delete all the databases like we did manually, like I say, a lot of people say it's not necessary. Um, and it will delete the thumbnails folder, both will be repopulated on startup, and so you click yes to remove that and it will force close code it. Uh, then you're ready to go back in and just zip your files. So you know select two folders or three folders and send to compress zip file or folder. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you've got any questions just ask on the wall. Uh, happy to answer them. And my next video will be uh, how to upload the files to a host and um, then what to do with the files once you've edited your build you know re-uploading them um, and you know that kind of thing so uh, like I said I hope you found this useful and uh, thank you